Okay, so good morning, everybody. It's your favorite dark skin chick, Rashida Strober, aka the world's first dark skin activist, aka the inventor of dark skin activism. I'm making this video to address some bullshit in the comment section that I saw by a dude. I believe his name is Rudy B. Moore. I was trying to look at my comments while making this video, but I can't. I wanted to read off exactly what he said. But this dude is basically making the claim. This is in with the Kyrie video, the Kyrie Urban video that I made yesterday. So I got a whole bunch of stuff that I want to address while I make this video. This is the first thing. Okay, so he comes on the comment section, this person, and he makes the comment, um, and I'm paraphrasing, saying that I'm copying Tommy Sotomayor. First of all, I don't even talk about Tommy Sotomayor. I'm talking about Tommy Sotomayor right now. Tommy Sotomayor, mind you, has taken like about four of my fucking videos. I ain't never said nothing. I ain't said one fucking word, Rudy B. Moore, or whatever the fuck your name is. You see, you don't know what you're talking about. I, Tommy Sotomayor approached me about coming on his show. I didn't even know who the fuck he was in 2014. I did not even watch none of his fucking videos or none of that. Okay, so let's get this shit straight. Because I take offense when a motherfucker trying to tell me that I'm copying somebody. No, baby. I'm the fucking original. Let's get this straight. This dude comes on here claiming that I'm copying Tommy Sotomayor with my show. First of all, my show is called A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. Second of all, I create multiple fucking shows. Let me repeat. I create multiple shows that I perform live because I am an actress, okay? I create, so for the slow motherfuckers, I gotta repeat it again, cause you might be slow. I create multiple shows because I'm an actress. I'm a performer, I am a writer. Let me run down my fucking history, cause a lot of you don't understand, you ain't gonna come up on here telling me I'm copying Tommy Sotomayor, that's an insult to me. Tom, let me, let me start from the beginning here. Back in 2014, Tommy Sotomayor, and I hate to even talk about him. I don't even want to talk about Tommy Sotomayor. A lot of people don't ask me to talk about Tommy Sotomayor. They asked me to make videos, and I, t I said no, because this ain't about Tommy Sotomayor. I've been doing my thing way before Tommy Sotomayor even existed. Tommy Sotomayor inboxed me on Facebook back in 2014 and asked me to come on his show. I did not know who the fuck this man was. I had never watched any of his videos. He said something about someone sent him some shit on me. Some about me, about dark skin. Apparently, some motherfucker was watching my Facebook page and they sent him information. This is what Tommy said. I still got the fucking inbox message from Tommy. But I'm not going to put that shit up there because I don't have to do that. I'm letting you motherfuckers know. Sitting up here talking about all this shit I done worked for my whole life to build up my career. And you gonna tell me I'm copying Tommy Sotomayor? Like I said, Tommy Sotomayor approached me back in 2014. He asked me to come on to his show because someone had sent him some information on the stuff that I speak on on dark skin. I did not know who the hell he was at the time. And I agreed. We I agreed. And that, that's how I got on his show. He asked me to come on his motherfucking show. When I came on his show and I found out how he was and how he treated me, I said, this guy is fucking crazy. That's what I was thinking to myself. And I said, I'm not going back on Tommy Sotomayor's show unless he pays me for it. So I never contacted him anymore. I never made fucking videos on him. None of that shit. But people were trolling me because they had saw the uh, interview that I had done with him. So his motherfucking trolls came for me. I never came for Tommy Sotomayor. Then when the Kendrick Lamar situation went down in 2015, Tommy Sotomayor came on one of my videos and asked me to come on his show. I told Tommy Sotomayor that he has to pay me at that point. And that was the end of the deal. After that, after I told him he had to pay me, Tommy Sotomayor went and made a long ass video on me Basically going in on me, going off. And I don't understand this shit because I never made videos on YouTube going off on Tommy Sotomayor. I've never done that. And I'm not going to do it because I didn't see a fucking need to do that shit. Tommy Sotomayor, not only did he make that long video, you can find the video. It's fucking there on YouTube. Not only did he make that one video on me, he went to my channel and took my videos and put it on his channel. Okay, there was at least three videos that he did that with. At least three. 
One of the videos I had did addressing light-skinned females. He took that video, that's my video, and put it on his some something about Tommy Rents. How do I know this? Because people came back and showed me. I never was a follower of Tommy Sotomayor. Understand that fucking shit clearly. Like I said, let me reiterate. Tommy Sotomayor approached me back in 2014. I did not know who the fuck he was. I never followed him. One of his trolls, like I said, was watching my Facebook page and they he, he approached me. He inboxed me. Let's get that shit real fucking clear. So don't you come at me telling me I'm copying Tommy Sotomayor. That's a fucking insult to me. And it ain't an insult because it's a shot at Tommy Sotomayor. Because I'm not going to make no videos about him bashing him. Even though he done did the shit to me. I'm not going to do that. Because I don't got time for that shit. It, the reason why it's an insult. Because I built my fucking career off of originality. So let me go get, start back with that. Let me start with my history. Since you trying to claim that I'm fucking copying a Tommy Sotomayor. Back in 1998. I did my first speech as the world's first dark-skinned activist at St. Petersburg College and won. There was a, some prize money. I won. And my 70-year-old auntie was right there with me, and she witnessed the whole damn thing. That's number one. Let's, let, we're going to get started going back to the history. Then, in 2005, I moved to Los Angeles, California, to pursue acting because I'm an actress. I'm a performer. Let's get that shit clear. 2005, baby. This is the history. Way before um, the internet and Tommy Sotomayor. This don't got nothing to do with him. I didn't even know the fuck he was. Okay? Going back to 2005, I'm in Los Angeles, California. I wrote my play called The Ice Cream Lady's Dream that was based on my life story of becoming a dark-skinned actress. There was a portion in the play that addressed the issues with dark skin. The people that seen that play, they like it. So in 2006, I decided to write the sequel to The Ice Cream Lady's Dream. And I called it A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. I copywrote it with the Writers Guild of America. And it's also copywritten with the United States Copyright Office. This is way back in 2000 and motherfucking six. Before any Tommy Sotomayor came along. Let's get this shit straight. Because I don't appreciate nobody telling me that I'm copying somebody. Baby, I'm the original. I am the fucking original. The original dark-skinned activist. You damn motherfucking right. And I ain't going to let nobody take that away from me. You got me fucked up. Continuing on. I created A Dark Skinned Woman's Revenge. Which is my best-known play. My best-known book that people know me for. Because I've been performing that play for the longest since 2006 baby way before again Tommy Sotomayor continuing right along I continue to develop because I'm an artist and I'm an actress I write a lot of stories that I don't tell people about I'm continue I'm always writing I wrote something called burnt black crispy biscuit that is my new show that I'm about, I'm ready. I, now I'm ready. Because you see, if you understand anything about performance and writers, writers spend sometimes years developing their stories in quiet. We don't come out and tell people until we good and goddamn fucking ready. So shortly after writing A Dark Skinned Woman's Revenge, I started working on a show called Burnt Black Crispy Biscuit. I wasn't ready to put that out yet. Now in 2016, I'm ready to put that out. But if you check my history before me even saying anything about burnt black crisp, crispy biscuit, you would know that I write stories based around dark skin. My, my dark skin experience. I ain't talking about nobody else's dark skin experience. Let's get that straight. Because you're talking about somebody trying to copy Thomas Sotomayor. I write about Rashita's a dark skin experience. Let's get that clear. Let's get that clear the fuck up. Moving right along. So after I wrote A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge in 2006, I started developing other dark skin stories based on myself. Didn't know who the fuck Tommy Zodemeyer was. Let's don't get this shit twisted. Didn't even know this motherfucker existed. I'm fucking pissed I even got to talk about him. But I got to address it. And speak his name since this dumbass person come on my fucking videos claiming that I'm copying him. Like I said, 
Back in 2006, after writing A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, I started developing other stories. I got so many fucking stories that are not ready to be released to the public, so it's not even funny. If someone looked at my archives and looked at what I got on my computer in terms of developing stories, they'll be like, damn, I got stories for days because that's what I do. I'm a writer and I'm a performer. Understand that fucking clearly. After writing A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, the play version, I adopted that into a book version. I also wrote How to Be the Hottest Dark Skin Chick on the Planet. And I also wrote She Black But She Ain't Ugly, A Dark Skin Girl's Triumph. So motherfucker, I got story after story after story after story after story for days. Now, I'm ready to release Burnt Black Crispy Biscuit, which is a show, because I write plays and shows, as well as books. Understand that, motherfucker. I'm an artist. I'm a performer. This has nothing to do with Tommy Sotomayor. You're looking at a person that's been on TV. I've had agents. Let's not get this shit twisted. Also, a manager. You talking about some time? That's a fucking insult to me. Over a career I've been building since 2005? In terms of performance rise? Are you gonna come telling me I'm copying somebody? Bitch, I'm the original. Let's not get this fucking shit twisted. And I'm gonna come out, I gotta defend myself and let these motherfuckers know. Cause sometimes that's what you have to do. So, when I released, when I started telling people I'm getting ready to put out Burnt Black Crispy Biscuit, a fan of mine texted me and he said, Rashida Raw. I'm not gonna say your name, baby. <laughs> You know who you are. And I was like, hmm, okay. Maybe I should add that to um, Burnt Black Crispy Biscuit. And so that is how it got the name that it has now, Rashida Raw Burnt Black Crispy Biscuit. That's how. This shit has nothing to do with no motherfucking Tommy. I don't even watch Tommy Sotomayor. I don't even watch his motherfucking videos. Like I said, he the one that was watching me and asked me to come on his show. Is you fucking crazy? I don't even watch that shit. You're, you're fucking insane. So I have to clear that shit up. So if, if you if you have researched my history, you would know, and I'm gonna put my wiki link, my Wikipedia link there. You would know that I have been written about in one of the biggest fucking papers in the United States, the St. Petersburg Times, okay? It's now called the Tampa Bay Times. I, was the, I, I made the cover of the Floridian, okay, within that paper. I have been on Bay News 9 in front of millions of people. People have written about me in major fucking newspapers. You talking about Tommy Sotomayor, my play has been on the Atlanta Black Theater Festival and the Washington DC Black Theater Festival. I produce my play in different venues as a self producer. I've been in people play, what, what the fuck you mean? You talking about somebody copy? I'm gonna be a fucking original. I don't need to fucking copy nobody, honey. Nobody. And this show, that you you talking about you you saying I'm copying the show. I don't talk, I don't know if you're speaking about in terms of what I do when I come on YouTube. When I come on YouTube, the show that I call my YouTube show, if you look back at my old videos, it's called A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge. I named it after my fucking play. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You why don't you go research somebody before you go running your motherfucking mouth and slandering and motherfucking lying on a person? You know what I'm saying? My website is right there, the darkskinactivist.com, RashidaStrober.com. Anybody in the world can research me and see what my history is and see what my career is. You know what I'm saying? See, you can see my work. It speaks for it for itself. But I'm addressing you because you're not gonna come in my comment section and lie on me and tell me I'm copying somebody when I'm the motherfucking original. I'm the fucking original dark skin activist. I'm the creator of dark skin activism. I invented dark skin activism. So you're not gonna sit up here and tell me I'm copying. And I'm sorry, y'all, that this video is gonna be a little bit long, but I have to address this shit because I'm not gonna let nobody fucking tell me I'm copying somebody when I built my motherfucking shit from the ground up. From the motherfucking ground up. I've been acting and performing my whole fucking life. You're not going to fucking come at me like that. Way before YouTube and the internet, honey, I've been on the stage. Don't get this shit twisted. Because you got it real twisted right now. Now, now that I address that, also what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put my resume. The resume of a dark-skinned activist. I'm going to put that in the link. I'm also continue to put my bio in the link. So if you want further... If for, for those of you that are intelligent 
and you want to know further, you could just read. It's right there. The history is right there. Continuing right along. In terms of this, now, you know, these black men coming on here, I want to say to you motherfucking black men, some one of them called me homie the clown. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. This is what I'm talking about. When I say these motherfuckers hate uh, dark-skinned women, this uh, um, Kyrie Irving situation, they're using this shit as an ex excuse to attack a dark-skinned woman that's speaking out on his bullshit. And for you motherfuckers that's coming on here trying to tell me I didn't get the facts, I said at the beginning of that damn video, I gave a fucking disclaimer. Let me repeat that, which because you're slow. Apparently, you're fucking slow. I said at the beginning of that video, I gave a disclaimer that if he didn't do it, he needs to make uh, he needs to address the situation, and that basically the comments is not applying to him if he's coming out and he's making a statement and addressing it. That's what I said. But if he is, if he did do that shit, then yeah, what I said in that video, I meant every fucking word of, of what I said. So don't try to misconstrue what I said, because I know I gave a fucking disclaimer. And that ain't no excuse, because this man, he, somebody said in the comment section as well, and they've researched him, that he has a baby coming with a non-dark-skinned woman. That tells me a whole motherfucking lot about his motherfucking mentality. Okay? And if he, if he ever dated a dark-skinned woman, then you motherfuckers need to show proof of that. Show proof of that. Why you coming out trying to defend? That's all y'all come to trying to do. You try to defend these self-hating ass black men. Especially when someone that looks like me comes out and speaks on it. But you're not going to fucking intimidate me. You're not going to fucking. You can, you can make all the negative comments. You can call me ugly. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. You can call me homie the clown. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. You can't stop me. You can't stop me ever. I just said I'm a writer. I'm a, I'm a fucking social, socio-political commentator when it comes down to this dark skin situation. When it comes down to the way that uh, black men have been treating dark skinned women. You're not going to stop me from speaking on it. I've been doing this shit for the longest. You're not going to stop me. You do you really think that you're going to stop me? This Kyrie person, he's just another one in a long line of men I've been speaking on for the longest. For the longest. Okay, that have been disrespecting dark-skinned women. And none of you motherfuckers is going to stop me with your nasty comments. Because, see, I done already experienced the brunt of it. I done went through the same, these same comments that these niggas come on here, these self-hating niggas that come on here and make these comments, talking shit about me, calling me ugly. I done went through that shit my whole fucking life. You can't say nothing new to me that you ain't said. You can't say nothing motherfucking new to me that you ain't said, that, that has not been said to me by some self-hating ass black man or young male in the past. I've heard it all, okay? I've fucking heard it all and I've stood the test of time and that's why I'm here and strong and making my delivery the way that I make my delivery and that's why you motherfuckers is pissed the fuck off because you know that you cannot control me. You cannot control me. You cannot tell me what the fuck to do. You cannot tell me how to speak on it. You cannot tell me what's in my head. And that's the motherfucking problem. So motherfucking hate. Make your fucking nasty negative comments. Because you ain't doing nothing new. You ain't doing nothing that none of these other, like I said, self-hating ass black men have not already done to me as a dark-skinned black woman. And it will not stop me from speaking my piece. That's why I wrote my book, Darkism, 25 Ways That Dark-Skinned People Are Discriminated Against. Because I wrote in the book, there's a section in there that where I talk about this specific subject where these motherfuckers use social media and try to come and intimidate you and make you fucking be quiet. But you're not going to make me be quiet. Like I said, I'm the world's first dark skin activist. I'm the originator of dark skin activism. And I'm going to keep on doing this shit. You better motherfucking recognize. You ain't got to You are recognizing. By default, you are recognizing. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's long this time. But like I said, when I read that shit in the comment section, I had to I had to address that shit coming at talking about somebody copying some Tommy Sotomayor. When I've been putting in work for years before I even knew who the fuck a Tommy Sotomayor was. And when he approached me first, when he approached me first, and when he's taking my videos 
and put it on his channel and I never said nothing about the shit. I never made no videos disparaging him. When that motherfucker went and made a, a, a 15 minute video people sent me where he talking shit about me for no fucking reason. And I've never done anything to him. And I've never made videos. You look at my channel. There's no videos about no fucking Tommy Sotomayor on my channel. Why? Because I didn't feel the need to do that. Because I knew what my mission was. So for you to fucking tell me that I'm copying him, fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. That's right. That's right. Look out for my upcoming book to my fans. Let me bring it down here because that motherfucker made me mad. Whatever the hell his name was. Y'all will see it in the comment section. Um, Look out for my upcoming book. Like I said, Darkism. 25 ways that dark-skinned people are discriminated against. Continue to check my history, folks. Donate to the Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign. Look out for my upcoming show, Rashida Raw, Burnt Black Crispy Biscuit, that I'm going to be premiering in Tampa, Florida. And it will be live streamed worldwide. Okay, I'm going to be giving y'all details on that. Also, I'm going to be doing an interview to, uh, tomorrow, yep, with Gmo. His name is Gmo. Uh, he basically videotaped um, a situation where he caught his girlfriend cheating for the whole world to see. Millions of people watch. And I want to know, the dark skin activist wants to know now, is his next girlfriend going to be dark skin? So we're going to be talking about that tomorrow on my live Google Hangout. If you want information on that, go to my Facebook page, Rashida Marie Strober, and look at my events. And you will see it on there. It's at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, donate to the Dark Skin is Beautiful campaign. Help me continue to carry out this uh, mission worldwide. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And that's it. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed Saturday. All right? Peace.